game day, or a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Hello and welcome to this live video streaming event from Table Rock Sports Productions in partnership with our local school districts and outstanding sponsors who make these live presentations possible. I'm Jeff Smith with Mikhail Weish behind the lens coming to you live from Grants Pass High School here in Grants Pass, Oregon. We thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the Lithia Superstore pregame show presented by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Today's game will feature the South Medford Panthers taking on the Grants Pass Lady Cavers. We're getting ready for our national anthem. We'll take a break for the anthem, and then we'll come back with the starting lineups, and we'll get this one started live here from Grants Pass High School. We're pleased you're joining us for this game on TableRockSports.net, and we welcome our home and visiting fans to the broadcast. Joe Brett is our executive producer and now we will step aside for the National Anthem. We'll be back right after this. Celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Jump online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Hi guys, my name is Mason Mahaffey. I'm the Solar Pros Manager of Oregon, and I'm also a teacher and a coach here in the Rogue Valley. Have you looked into solar panels and it didn't make financial sense? I brought Solar Pros here to Oregon to make it more affordable for working class families to put solar on their home. Solar Pros is purposely beating our competitors' prices by thousands of dollars because we are that serious about saving you money. Solar Pros PNW provides the most comfortable, educational, and personal solar experience in Oregon. Visit our Facebook page at Solar Pros PNW to see all of our projects and all the families that we are helping save money. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. We'd like to let you know our sponsors keep these events free for fans to enjoy. Please let them know you appreciate their support, and you can help Table Rock Sports by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we give a big thank you to our 3,300 subscribers already on the website and of course all these games available on demand at youtube slash table rock sports or at the table rock sports net website so the lady cavers out in the field as we're about ready to get this one started let's take a look at our lineups on the mound for the Lady Cavers, that's Scarlett Gordon. Atiana Vanuku Johnson is the catcher. Then it'll be Kaikendall at first, Huberger at second, Montejano at short, Maori at third, Manuel in left, McCall in center, and Ruiz in right. And the batting order for the Panthers, it'll be Taylor leading off and playing center field. In left field, hitting second, Ledendecker. Hudson will be the pitcher. She'll bat third. Joe is at first, batting fourth. Batting fifth will be Hillier, the catcher. Batting sixth, Turry, playing third base. At shortstop, the number seven hitter is Turpin. Cody is in right, batting eighth. And Butterfield, batting ninth and playing second base. 
And Malia Taylor will step into the box to face Scarlett Gordon, and we're ready to get this one underway. First pitch is a ball. First pitch time, 430, 71 degrees here in Grants Pass. The 1-0, check swing, strike. Taylor waiting on the 1-1. Pitch is a little inside. It's two and one. So Taylor, Ledendecker, and Hudson, your first three hitters here in the top of the first. Check swing, strike two, the count even two and two. Little breeze starting to pick up, blowing out toward right center field. That one is low and the count full to the leadoff hitter, Taylor. Gordon looking in. And she's ready to deal. High and away. The leadoff hitter aboard for South Medford. And the hitter will be Nicole Ledendecker. Ledendecker, front half of the box. Right-handed hitter waiting for the first pitch from Gordon. Bunt attempt will be over the catcher, and that'll be strike one. Letting Decker squares to Bunt, gets it down. It's a good one. Gordon will make the play to first. They get the out. Taylor over to third. Nobody covering the bag at third. Taylor gets in easily. So the sack bunt works perfectly. And the hitter will be the pitcher, Hudson. That one is foul. So Hudson will step back in the box. 0-1 count. Taylor the runner down at third with one out. And that one high and away for a ball, one and one. Hudson takes a ball, that one to the backstop. Taylor coming home, Taylor will score. And the Panthers on the board first with some great base running from Taylor. Check swing and a strike called. And the count even at two and two. goes high and the count full again three and two
Here's the payoff. Swinging a line, looping line drive into right field. That'll be a base hit. Up with it is Ruiz. Gets it in quickly to hold the runner at first. And the one out hitter will be Joe. Aubrey Joe, the first baseman for South Medford. Waits on the first pitch from Gordon. And now Gordon steps back. That one is grounded past the shortstop into left field. There'll be runners at first and second with one out. And the hitter will be Shelby Hillier, the Panther catcher. And we'll get a little meeting at the mound as Vanuku Johnson goes out to talk to her pitcher. Two on and one out. One run already in in the top half of the first. That pitch misses. Runner goes. Both runners will go. Throw down to second. Not in time. So Joe over at first, sort of a delayed steal. She waited to see if they were going to throw down to third and then snuck in. They tried to throw down, but she was already there. And that misses just off the plate, 2-0. and oh. That one past the bag at third foul, and it's two and one. Beautiful day again. Second straight game out here at Grants Pass High School where the weather couldn't be much better. A little breeze blowing out towards center. Bright sunshine on this beautiful field here. Line drive into right field. That's going to get a run home around third. And holding will be Joe. And it's two to nothing. Panthers. Runners now at the corners. Still only one out. So Joe the runner at third. Hillier over at first with that line drive single. And the hitter will be Brianna Turry. Turry fouls back the first pitch. And Vanuku Johnson steps out to give a sign to her infield. Here's the 0-1, high for a ball. I imagine if Hillier goes from first, Vanuku Johnson's throw will likely be back to the pitcher. Joe not with a lot of speed at third, they will try and coax her into coming home. That one off the glove. And the runner advances from first. And the count now two and one. Off the plate, ball three, three and one. And Gordon been looking for that outside edge, but she's been off the plate a couple of times here in the first.
The 3-1 is ball four and the bases are loaded. And the hitter will be the shortstop, Hannah Turpin. Bases full of Panthers, still only one out. And that's a strike. Low for a ball, that hit her. Well. I thought that hit her. She headed down toward first. And now we're gonna have the umpires are gonna huddle up and talk this over. The, the batter Turpin had headed down to first, so I thought maybe that hit her on the toe. And the umpires talk it over. They're going to rule no. And so it'll be a 1-1 count. And Gordon with the... 1-1 one, one pitch. Ooh, don't know where that missed. I don't have a good angle on that. That's going to be ball two, two and one. I'm assuming a little inside, but I don't have a good look. I can tell heights pretty well. Can't tell in and out as quite as well. That's off the plate, and it's three and one. Got to give her something. Make her put the ball in play. Let your defense try and get at least one of the outs right here. And that's a little chopper toward third, and it goes foul. Got past Mowry. She tried to reach out and barehand it, but it stayed foul. And the count goes full three and two. Got that second strike now, might be a good time for the change up. Nope, she goes with the heat, grounded to short. They're gonna throw home and get the out there. That'll be the only one, but now two away. They cut down the lead runner. Bases remain loaded, but now two outs. So two away, the hitter now is Jaden Cody. Swings and misses at the first one. Swing and a pop fly on the infield taken by Kuykendall and the side retired. So the Panthers leave three runners aboard, but they do score two runs here in the top of the first. Lady Cavers coming to bat when we come back. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you after the game. Hey, um. Dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago, and I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team, your coaches, and the sports you love. Still your number one fan. Love that. Well, 
Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. And let's take a look at the lineups here in the bottom half of the inning. Casey Hudson is your pitcher. And it's Shelby Hillier, the catcher. Joe is at first, Butterfield at second, Turpin at shortstop, Turry's at third, Ledendecker is in left, Taley in center, Cody is in right. And leading off for the Lady Cavers, it'll be Madison Montejano. She'll be fo followed by Kuykendall will bat second, Huberger batting third, Vanuku Johnson will be the cleanup hitter. The pitcher, Gordon, bats fifth. Mowry batting sixth, Manuel batting seventh, McCall will bat eighth, and Ruiz will be the number nine hitter for the Lady Cavers as Montecano steps in to face Hudson. And Hudson delivers inside for a ball. 1-0. And a swing and a miss as Hudson gets one past Montejano in the count one and one. I believe we may have a an illegal pitch call. Umpires talking it over, but they have put ball two on the board. So it's going to be 2-0. So I believe they called in illegal pitch and she blows that one past her for strike one two and one that one fouled out of play and the count evens up at two and two Kuykendall in the on-deck circle, waiting for her to turn. Cavers would love to get the leadoff hitter aboard here to try and chip away at that 2 to nothing deficit. Took something off of that, left it up high, and it's a full count, 3-2. and two. Monahano is a good two-strike hitter. She adjusts well. See what she can do here. Checks her swing, and it's a ball. And the runner aboard. Leadoff hitter aboard for the Cavers. And it'll be Brooklyn Kuykendall, the lefty, coming to the plate. Hudson looking in, and she'll deal. Swing and a miss, strike one. Check swing, that'll be a strike. She went through and it's strike two on Kuykendall. Here's the 0-2, swing and a miss, struck her out on three pitches. And there's one away and the hitter will be Huberger. Alexis Huberger getting the start at second for the Lady Cavers. Will step in to face Hudson. Check out the new voice in Southern Oregon, the Ace Sports Radio, AM 1300, FM 107.9. First pitch swung on and missed, and Hudson dealing so far here in the first. 
The Ace Radio features the VSIN Network, the Rich Eisen Show, live March Madness games, and our weekly local show, Tee It Up Southern Oregon with Joe Brett. Check swing on the breaking pitch. Took something off that. Good adjustment by Huberger to at least get a piece of it. And the count 0-2 on the foul ball. Vanuku Johnson in the on-deck circle for the Lady Cavers. See if Hudson will go off speed two pitches in a row here or if she comes back with the heat. That one sails high, and it's one and two. Huberger waiting on the one, two. That one will be served right over third. The throw to second. Out is Monahano. She had to hold a little, thinking that pop fly would be caught, or it was kind of a looping line drive. And so they get the lead runner. There's two away. And Vanuku Johnson will be the hitter. So Huberger now the runner down at first. Vanuku Johnson the hitter. And ooh, took one up in the top of the zone for strike one. A oh, one pitch breaking ball got her out in front for strike two. <laughs> Fouled straight back on the pitch up in the zone, but Vanuku Johnson had to protect. Chopper to second. They'll go the short route to first. And the side retired. Cavers leave a runner. Fail to score after one complete. It's two to nothing. South Medford will be back right after this. Diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in here. Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Two to nothing our score after one. South Medford coming to bat in the top of the second. Solar Pros and owner Mason Mahaffey invite you to learn how you can save thousands on solar panel installation for your home. Visit Solar Pros Facebook page to learn more. Go to Facebook and search Solar Pros PNW. So the number nine hitter will lead things off here in the second. That will be Sydney Butterfield. Then we'll go to the top of the order. Taylor and Ledendecker, your scheduled first three hitters to face Scarlett Gordon here in the second. Swinging a pop fly on the infield. Monahano calls for it. One pitch and one out. And Taylor will be the hitter.
Taylor rifles one foul and out of play. Here's the 0-1. Outside for a ball, one and one. Taylor walked to lead off the game. Back up here with the 1-1 one, one count. Check swing popped up on the infield and a basket catch made by Huberger. And there's quickly two away here in the second. And Ledendecker will come to the plate. So a couple of pop-ups, a couple of outs. And that pitch misses for ball one. Breeze starting to pick up a little bit more. Ledendecker waiting on the pitch. That one right up the middle into center field and a two out base runner for the Panthers. And the pitcher, Casey Hudson will be the hitter. Hudson with the single in her first at bat. Takes the first pitch for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Check swing and a strike called. It's 1-1. One and one. Ledin Decker, the runner at second. 1-1 one, one count to Hudson. And she lines that one foul down the third baseline. Gordon gets the sign. One two pitch. High. And it's two and two. Here's the two two. Lifted to left field. That'll be out of here. Home run. Two run shot for Casey Hudson. And it's a four to nothing ball game as the Panthers tack on two more with the Hudson bomb to left. And the hitter will be the first baseman, Aubrey Joe, as the Cavers break up the huddle on the mound. First pitch to Joe's a ball, 1-0. Took something off and got her out in front of a strike. Another off speed 
just misses off the plate. It's two and one, and it's going to be the difference today. These two pitchers, Hudson's got a pretty overpowering fastball. Gordon has to use the location a little more. She doesn't have quite the pace on her fastball that Hudson has. That one's a little low, and it's three and one. Joe waiting on the 3-1 pitch. And that one's in the dirt for ball four. So a two-out base runner here for South Medford. And the hitter will be Shelby Hillier. Hillier had a line drive single to right in her first at bat. Takes a strike. Grounded foul past the bag at third. Before or after the game is a great time to visit Dutch Bros and enjoy your favorite beverage. Drink one for Dane Day is coming in May. Over two and a half million dollars have been raised for the Muscular Dystrophy Association in over 18 years by Dutch Bros and the customers who support them. Oh, two pitches, strike three called, and the Cavers get out of the inning. But two more runs on the board on the two run homer from Hudson. We head to the bottom of the second. Four to nothing, your score. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it. Oh. Ah. Come on, ref. Open your eyes. Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. Five, six, seven hitters due up for the Cavers here in the bottom of the second to face Casey Hudson. It'll be Gordon, Mowry, and Manuel for the Cavers coming up here in the second, trailing four to nothing on our John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott, Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Today's game is brought to you by Tap Rock Northwest Bar and Grill in Grants Pass, Elmer's Restaurants of Medford, and the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Role campaign re promoting respectful behavior at youth sporting events. Hudson takes her final warm up. We're ready for the bottom half of the second. Southwest Conference softball and baseball going on here at Grants Pass. These same two teams squaring off just across the way here in the on the baseball diamond. Of course, the scoreboards are back to back, so you would you can go to that game on TableRockSports.net and check the score there, as I can't see it from here. But our score is four to nothing as Hudson's facing Gordon. And Gordon takes ball one, one and oh. Swing and a miss, it's one and one. Took something off it, left it up high. It's two and one. Yeah. 
2-1 pitch, check swing, and that's ball three. Three and one up high. They'll appeal down to first. He says no, so it's three and one. Mowry in the on-deck circle for the Cavers. And that's ball four. The leadoff hitter aboard again here in the second. Looks like we're going to get a courtesy runner for Scarlett Gordon. And that'll be Morales, the runner over at first. And your hitter will be Taryn Mowry. Mowry steps into the box. Hudson's pitch. Swing and a miss. The 0-1. Squares to bunt. Fouls it off. And the count now 0 and 2. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. The second for Hudson. And the first out here in the second. And it'll be Kailani Manuel, the hitter. For the Lady Cavers, one on and one out. Four to nothing Panthers here in the second. And that's a strike called. Wind getting a little stronger here. And that's off the plate for a ball, one and one. Swing and a miss, it's one and two. Here's the one, two. And a strikeout for Hudson, her second of the inning. There's two away. And the hitter will be Antonia McCall. First pitch to McCall is a strike. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Outside ball one, trying to get McCall to chase on that. Not a bad pitch, but the count now one and two. Strike three called, a walking three strikeouts here in the second for Hudson. And she'll head back to the dugout with the four to nothing lead as we head to the top of the third right after this. Game day or a family get together. 
Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. Your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the Big Cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day with in-store purchases. Fuel your day, fuel your fun. Pinnacle 365. Whether it's game day or a family get-together, Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. Powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon as we head to the third South Medford Panthers coming to bat. It'll be the six, seven, eight hitters due up here in the third. Turry, Turpin, and Cody. As Gordon looks in and delivers the first pitch, and that's ball one. And we can tell spring is in the air. My eyes are watering <laughs> like the Rogue River right now. That's up high for ball two. Two and oh. Swinging a foul out of play. Hit the light post. Saved somebody's car by hitting that light post. <laughs> Gordon getting her sign. Here's the 2 1. Left it up. Ball three. Three and one. Three one pitch. Strike. Called in the count full, three and two. The umpire may have thought that was a two strike pitch as he was, looked like he was gonna ring it up and then realize it's only three, two. Popped up on the infield, fights fighting the sunshine was Maori makes the catch. And the leadoff hitter is retired here in the third and the hitter will be Turpin. Hannah Turpin, 0 for 1 on the day. Grounded into a fielder's choice in her first at bat. Fouls off the first pitch for strike one. Here's the 0-1, lifted to left field, well hit. That ball is off the wall. Tracking it down, Manuel, over to second goes Turpin with a stand-up double with one out here in the third. And the hitter will be Cody. Cody popped out in her first at bat. Comes up here with a runner in scoring position and one out. And takes a ball, 1-0. and oh. <laughs> 
swinging a drive to right field. That'll get the run home as it's past Ruiz all the way to the wall. Another stand-up double and an RBI for Cody as Turpin comes in to score, and it's 5 to nothing Panthers. And Butterfield will be the hitter. So a couple of one-out doubles puts a run on the board for the Panthers. And that's a ball on the first pitch to Sidney Butterfield. So the bottom of the order doing some damage here for the Panthers. That piss, p- pitch misses. <laughs> Can say that one right. <laughs> Apologize for that. Tongue-tied here. They count 2-0. And, oh. and that's past the bag at third. Into the corner. Coming around third to score will be Cody. Over to second. Three straight doubles for the Panthers. And they lead 6 to nothing. So Butterfield now the runner at second with the RBI double. The top of the order coming up. Taley steps into the box. Still one out. And that one in the dirt. Oh, they're going to throw down to second. The runner, Butterfield, had fallen, but she was able to scurry back in here's the 1-0 check swing and that's a strike Gordon's 1-1. That's a ball, 2-1. Low for a ball, 3-1. Ladendecker in the on-deck circle waiting to see what Taley can do here. Hitters count. Swinging a oh, line drive off the foot of the pitcher. Taley is safe. No tag put on. Runners will be at the corners, but they're going to have to check on Gordon. That one got her right on the foot, and She is looking a little frustrated on the play. So runners now at the corners with one out. A couple of runs in in the inning, and they're going to check on Scarlett Gordon. Spring, excuse me, Spring Sports Action is brought to you by our title sponsor, Lithia Superstore Jeep Dodge Chrysler, where you can find deals on the lot or at lithiasuperstore.com and our presenting sponsor, Siskiyou Cellular of Southern Oregon, now with nine locations nearby to serve you. So we're going to get a new pitcher as Gordon is removed from the game with the injury to her foot, took that line drive right off the foot. And so coming in (laughs) 
So Kuykendall will take over the pitching duties. Coming in to play first is going to be Schreiber. So Audrey Schreiber will take over at first. Kuykendall, the new pitcher. We're going to take a break. We'll come back right after this. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fair capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. UMO gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass. Welcome back to our Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. So runners, runners at first and third with one out. Butterfield at third, Taylor at first. The new pitcher is Brooklyn Kuykendall and she's going to face Nicole Ledendecker and going on the pitch was Taylor. They throw over to third. They don't get the runner. And so Taylor safe at second. So now runners at second and third. And that's ball two, two and oh. Ledendecker with a single and a sacrifice. Takes that one off the plate and a 3-0 count. That's a strike, three and one. Kuykendall, just a freshman. And that's fouled back, and she gets the count back full to three and two. And that's ball four, the bases are loaded. And Casey Hudson will be the hitter. Hudson with the two run bomb and her last at bat, helping her own cause as she's having a great game out in the circle and in the batter's box. Already two for two today, including that home run. Lines that one right back to the bag. It's short. Oh, and the ball hit the runner. They tried to double off the runner at first, but it hits Ledendecker. So there'll be two away. So she hit it hard, but right to Huberger. And it'll be Aubrey Joe, the hitter. Joe been on base twice, a single and a walk. Comes up here with bases loaded and two away. Hits the breaking ball to shallow left. That'll be a fair ball. One run scores, two runs score. Holding it third will be Ladendecker, an RBI double.
will make it eight to nothing. And Hillier will be the hitter. First pitch swinging and it's off the screen, strike one. Hillier one for two on the day, a single and struck out looking in her last at bat. Takes a pitch up high and it's one and one. Hard ground ball to second. They'll get the out at first. Side retired. The Panthers leave a couple of runners, but they get four more on the board, and they lead after two and a half, eight to nothing, and we'll be right back. All right, let's go, guys. 15 minutes. Get your stuff. Bye, Mom. Have a good day, guys. I don't know what happened. Just the next time, a little slower. Okay, I get it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the line. Life is busy. Juggling everything can be overwhelming. We've all been there. So consumed with our own lives that we sometimes forget about what someone else might be going through. Ref, come on! No, ref! There's no contact! I'm straight up! That is a terrible So goal. keep it in perspective, because we're all hoping for the same thing, to be respected for who we are and what we do. Remember, no ref, no game. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official, but you can only be one. Know your Eight to nothing your score on our John L. Scott scoreboard as we head to the bottom of the third. It'll be the nine, one, and two hitters due up for Grant's pass. That'll be Ruiz, Montejano, and Kaikendal to face Casey Hudson. Hudson has thrown, given up no hits. A couple of walks and four strikeouts. And she'll face Marcelo Ruiz to lead off the bottom of the third. And that pitch is low for a ball, 1-0. Montejano in the on-deck circle for the Cavers. Tried to check her swing. That's going to be a strike either way. And the count one and one. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. Here's the one, two. Just off the plate, and it's two and two. That, don't mind our scoreboard. That was not a strikeout. Two two is the count. Fouled straight back, and Ruiz stays alive. Just off the plate again, full count, three and two. So Ruiz trying to 
worked the count here, fought off a hard pitch, took a couple of close pitches. Here's the payoff. Swung on a miss, Hudson with the strikeout. And now that one goes on the board. There's one away. And we go to the top of the order and Madison Montecano. And that's ball one to Montecano. Swing a drive to center field. That's Taylor moving back and making the catch. And there's two away here in the bottom of the third. And the hitter will be Kuykendall. Kuykendall 0 for 1. Stands in here with two outs and takes a strike. Just a little low, ball one, one and one. Fouled straight back, it's one and two. Off speed pitches in for a strike, strike three called. The side retired. After three complete, it's eight to nothing. Panthers will step aside, be back with more right after this. It takes meticulous planning. Continuous monitoring. And forward thinking to deliver the perfect Three egg omelet. Enjoy the patio weather and a brand new menu at Tap Rock Northwest Grill, where friends and family gather and memories are made. Come visit us today or visit our website. Top of the fourth coming up here from Grants Pass High School. You're watching the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. Powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Coming to bat, it'll be the six, seven, eight hitters due up here in the top of the fourth. Turi Turpin. And Cody scheduled to hit to face Kuykendall in her second inning of work. She came in in relief of Gordon, who was injured on a line drive off her foot. So Kuykendall back out in the circle, ready to face Turi. And Turi takes a strike. Three zero for one on the day. She's also drawn a walk. Swinging a ground ball in the hole into center field for a leadoff single, and the hitter will be Turpin. Turpin one for two on the day. Had a. 
double to left in her last at bout. Hit into a fielder's choice previously. And she hits that hard past the glove of the third baseman in the left field. They'll get it in quickly, but there'll be runners at first and second with nobody out. And Cody will be the hitter. Jade and Cody also one for two on the day. Had another one of those three in our three doubles in a row. Comes up here with two on, nobody out. Takes an off speed pitch for a strike. Starting her off with the change. Oh, one is grounded to short. They'll go to third and get the lead runner. And there's one away. And we're going to get timeout called. Going to bring the going to bring the infielders in, have a talk there. I think this this conversation could be about awareness of making sure you know where you're going to go with the ball before the ball's in play. They got the lead runner there on that. There might have been a chance for two. She didn't need to tag the runner in that situation, and that may have cost them a at least a chance at a double play. But the conversation is done. So Turpin out at second. That's a called strike to Butterfield. Turpin the runner at second. Cody the runner at first. One away. Here's the 0-1, line pass short into left field. Around third, headed home is Turpin. The throw will be cut off. Another run on the board for the Panthers. It's 9 to nothing. So an RBI for Butterfield. Turpin scores on the play. And it's the top of the order. Taley at the plate takes a ball 1-0. and Off-speed pitch off the handle. Into right field, coming around third and scoring will be Cody. Over to third on the play goes Butterfield. A double and an RBI for Taylor, and Ledendecker will be up next. That one gets past the catcher. Here comes Butterfield, the throw, not quite in time. And Kuykendall probably needed to come a little closer to the plate. Couldn't quite get there. The run scores on the wild pitch. Taylor advances to third on the play. That's a line drive down the right field line into the corner. Turning on the Jets is Ledendecker. She will motor into third with a stand-up triple. Oh, and then the throw hit her. Neither the, neither the third baseman, Mowry, or Ledendecker were expecting that throw to come to third. She was going to get in easily, and she took that right off the chest.
Get our scoreboard caught up here. Apologize for that. 13 to nothing. Actually, I've got 12. The scoreboard says 13. We'll double check that. Hudson, the hitter, so still only one out. I think the scoreboard, yeah, it is wrong. So 13, 12 to nothing, your score. I, I've got my my own secret, secret super hidden game changer app and that saves me <laughs> when I lose track or when the scoreboard loses track. So a 1-1 count to Hudson with a runner at third is still only one away and that pitch is in the dirt, two and one. Hudson two for three on the day. Up here with an RBI situation. Takes low for a ball. Three and one. That's a line drive into center field. That'll get the run home all the way to the wall. Taylor around second. She'll hold there with a double. Now it's 13 to nothing. And Joe will be the hitter. Aubrey Joe, two for two on the day. She's got a single, a double, and a walk. Has not been retired. That gets away from the catcher. Runner Hudson advances to third. And a 1-0 count to Joe. Off speed pitch, misses for ball two. That's a strike, two and one. Hudson, the runner, down at third. That one goes to the backstop, but the runner will hold. And it's three and one. Here's the 3-1. That misses, and there'll be runners at the corners. Still only a one out. And Hillier will be the batter. Hillier one for three. Takes a ball. Runner goes. They'll... Oh, they... Had a chance for the out at second. The ball was cut off. Hudson held at third, which was really the right play. So Joe will get a steal of second base. And the 1-0 pitch to Hillier misses for ball two. Check swing, foul ball, two and one. Today's game is brought to you in part by Avista Utilities and our friends from Pinnacle 365. Use your peak rewards to save on gas and use the app to order crispy, crunchy chicken and sides 
on your way home and have them ready to pick up Pinnacle 365. 2 1 pitch driven to center field. Well hit over the head of McCall. Hudson will score. Joe will hold it third, a RBI double. And it's 14 to nothing, Panthers. And Brianna Turry will be the hitter. One for two, a walk, a single, and a pop out. And she waves at the first one for strike one. Takes a strike, strike two. Took something off, just off the plate, two and one, or uh, one and two, I should say. Swinging a foul, and the count remains one and two. Another one-two pitch on the way. Dribbler to third. It's going to be a tough play. They won't get the out at first. Joe had held up, waiting to see where the throw would go. Now they'll throw. Oh, but it's broken up. The throw went to second. The play was broken up out at second. So safe there is Turry. Joe scores on the play. And actually, two runs will score on the play as Joe and Hillier both score. And Turpin takes a ball. And that's ball two. And that misses for ball three, three and oh. To Hannah Turpin, she's two for three on the day. So Turry, the runner, out at second. Still only one out. That's a strike. Right down the middle, three and one. That's fouled out of play. And the count now full three and two. And that's ball four. So Turpin now down at first, Turry over at second. It'll be Jaden Cody, the hitter. Cody one for three. She has a double. She'll hit that one softly to second to throw. Not in time. It gets past the first baseman. Coming around to score is Turry. 
And there'll be runners at the corners. That's going to be ruled an error, I believe. And that's ball two, two and oh. Two oh pitch is grounded by Butterfield to second, bobbled it second, not in time. Another run comes in to score. So runners now at first and second. And that's ball one. Strike called, and I think I failed to mention that's Taylor at the plate. Two for three on the day. Takes a strike, it's one and one. Fouls that off, it's one and two. For almost 50 years, Bill's Glass has been the clear choice in Southern Oregon for your home vehicle or business needs. Locally owned, family run. Bill's Glass supports our schools and communities. Here's the one, two. Ball two, two and two. Lines that down the line, that'll hook foul. And the count remains two and two. So Cody the runner at second, Butterfield at first. Still only one out. That'll be low for a ball and the count goes full, three and two. Grounder to second. They'll go to second for one. The relay not in time, but now two away. And there'll be runners at the corners now with two outs. And the hitter will be Ledendecker. And that's ball one, one and oh. Ladendecker two for two. Ledendecker with a grounder has been everything hit to second base. They get the third out. Panthers leave a couple of runners, but they tack on a whole bunch here. In the top of the fourth, we go to the bottom of the frame and Grants Pass coming to bat when we come back. 
celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Jump online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Your game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill-up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and the Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net. And we'll have a pitching change here for the Panthers as it'll be Nicole Ledendecker coming in to pitch. It appears Taley will move to left field. And I believe Hudson think is going to be in center. We'll try and confirm that here as Ledendecker finishes her warm-ups. It's going to be Huberger, Vanuku, Johnson, and Schreiber scheduled to hit here in the fourth. And it will be Hudson in center field. So Taley moves over to left. Hudson finishes her day pitching. Moves out to center. So unofficially, 46 pitches, two walks, six strikeouts, and no hits. In fact, the Cavers still looking for their first hit. And that's a grounder to second from Huberger. Butterfield makes the play, and there's quickly one away. Fix our scoreboard. Apologize. Get back up to date here. So one away. And Vanuku Johnson will step into the box. And the first pitch to Vanuku Johnson low for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 popped up on the infield. Pitcher calling for it, and Ladden Decker spun a little in the glove as she hauled it in, but she makes the play, and there's two away. And the hitter will be... Audrey Schreiber, her first at bat. And she takes ball one, one and oh. Of course, Schreiber came into, into the field when Gordon was knocked out of the game by a line drive injury to her foot. And the count now one and one. Ledendecker spinning the ball in her hand, ready to deliver it. Puts it past Schreiber for strike two. Low for a ball, two and two. Foul back, it remains two and two. 
taking a look at the scoreboard for our game across the way. A little closer game going on over there. Two to two in the bottom of the sixth. Same two teams except baseball action. That'll be low, and the count goes full, three and two. Swing and a miss. Side retired here in the fourth. We head to the fifth. South Medford up big, 18 to nothing on our John L. Scott scoreboard. We'll step aside once again and be back with more right after this. U.S. Cellular for years now. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Exclusive deals, like up to $1,200 for any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Visit U.S. Cellular at Siskiyou, Southern Oregon's exclusive authorized agent for U.S. Cellular, now serving Roseburg and Klamath Falls. See SOUSCellular.com for details. Don't stop! Get it! Get it! Don't go for the greatest thing! It's, it's pretty freaking dope, dude. I, I love every single day of it. <laughs> Three and two. Three and two. <laughs> Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and the Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. And our pitching change brought to you by Travel Medford. Medford is your sport ground where the West Coast comes to play. Visit TravelMedford.org slash sports to learn more about the many tournament venues, outdoor opportunities, and the events calendar to see what's going on. So Madison Montejano will be the new pitcher for the Lady Cavers. Kuykendall will go back to first. Schreiber will go out to center. And Morales will come in to play short for the Lady Cavers. Looks like the other positions will be the same. Manuel still out in left. Ruiz is in right. Huberger at second and Maori at third. And of course, Vanuku Johnson remains as the catcher. And Hudson will lead it off for the Panthers. It'll be the heart of the order due up here in the top of the fifth. It'll be Hudson, Joe, and Hillier scheduled to hit to get things going here in the fifth. 18 runs on 17 hits and no errors for the Panthers. No runs, no hits, and four errors for the Cavers. And Hudson steps in to face Montejano. And time is called. I believe the catcher calling for time out there. Montejano's first pitch in for a strike. Not a bad take there from Hudson, trying to gauge what what Montejano's pitch looks like. That's a line drive into left center field all the way to the wall. Hudson will motor into second with a stand-up double. So Hudson out at second. And Aubrey Joe will be the hitter. Single, a double, and two walks 
for Joe, having quite a day at the plate. Takes a pitch inside for ball one. Swinging a chopper over the pitcher, second baseman Huberger will make the play. And there's one away. The runner, Hudson, advances to third on the play. And the hitter will be Hillier. Hillier two for four on the day, facing Montejano for the first time. Takes a strike up in the upper reaches of the zone. Looks like we may get a runner. Don't know if this will be, I believe this is going to be a pinch runner. Not sure that it's going to matter. We'll find out in the next half an inning. And I don't have 16. We're going to guess. <laughs> Don't know who that is. That's past the bag foul. High fly ball. Medium deep left field, calling for it is Manuel. She'll make the catch, tagging and scoring. Will be the runner from third. And now two away. And Turi takes a ball. 1 0. So Ostvik was the pinch runner that came home to score on that sack fly as the count goes to 2 0. Reno. Line dry or hard ground ball, I should say, taken by Morales. She had to. Had to knock it down and then gathered it up. Couldn't get the throw in time. And looks like they're going to score that an error. And Turpin will be the hitter, I believe. And Turpin, Hannah Turpin, two for three on the day, swings and misses at the first one. That one misses for a ball, one and one.
Ball two, two and one. Three and one. And that's a strike. Count goes full, three and two. Three, two, two outs. Monahano into her wind. Low for a ball, runners at first and second with two outs. And it'll be Jaden Cody coming to the plate. Cody one for four on the day, but that one was one of those three straight doubles in the 10 run fourth inning for the Panthers. Ball two, two and oh. Strike called, two and one. That's up high, three and one. Pop fly foul, that will drop. And the count goes full, three and two. Table Rock Sports thanks our great sponsors, including the John L. Scott Real Estate Scoreboard and our longtime friends from Sherm's Thunderbird and Food for Less in Southern Oregon. 3-2 again with two outs and two on. Took something off that, popped her up on the infield. Huberger calls for it, makes the play. The side is retired, two runners left, but another run on the board for the Panthers. Last chance for the Lady Cavers when we come back, bottom of the fifth, right after this. Game day for a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. Year round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding, check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast play. Adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh beans a cup in no time at all. And now we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing crispy, crunchy chicken online ordering. Mouthwatering crispy, crunchy chicken for dinner made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website. Select a pickup time. Choose from your favorites. And your crispy, crunchy chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Ledendecker back into the circle for the Panthers. Oh, 
Leading off will be Maori, and she takes a ball, 1-0. So Osvik stayed in the game, went out to right. That's a hard ground ball off the glove of Turpin. The throw in time. Great recovery at short as Turpin gets it done. And there's one away here in the fifth. And it'll be Kailani Manuel coming to the plate for the Lady Cavers. Here's the 0-1, swing and a miss, 0-2. Our scoreboard thought it was still in the last inning or something. Putting runners, ghost runners out there. That's a ball, 1-2. and two. So nobody on and one out, a 1-2 count, 2 Manuel. Morales in the on deck circle for the Lady Cavers. And that's ball two, two and two. Outside, full count. Swing and a miss, and there's two away as Ledendecker gets the strikeout. And Morales will be the hitter. Nobody on and two outs. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. And the Panthers looking for the combined five inning no hitter. They're one strike away. That one is a ball, one and two. That misses ball two, two and two. And Ruiz in the on-deck circle for the Lady Cavers. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. Ledendecker gets the strikeout. The Panthers get the five-inning win, a combined no-hitter in five innings. And we'll take a look at the final totals when we come back. right after this break.
celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Hi guys, my name is Mason Mahaffey. I'm the Solar Pros Manager of Oregon, and I'm also a teacher and a coach here in the Rogue Valley. Have you looked into solar panels and it didn't make financial sense? I brought Solar Pros here to Oregon to make it more affordable for working class families to put solar on their home. Solar Pros is purposely beating our competitors' prices by thousands of dollars because we are that serious about saving you money. Solar Pros PNW provides the most comfortable, educational, and personal solar experience in Oregon. Visit our Facebook page at Solar Pros PNW to see all of our projects and all the families that we are helping save money. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and our Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. And it's the Know Your Role post-game report. Visit TravelMedford.org and search Know Your Role to see how this campaign is changing the culture of youth sports for the better. And so this one is in the books, a... Easy victory for the South Medford Panthers. Final line score on our John L. Scott scoreboard. 19 runs, 18 hits, no errors for the Panthers. No runs, no hits, five errors for the Lady Cavers. Hudson will get the win. Gordon, I believe, will take the loss. Hudson with six strikeouts, Ledendecker in relief with three strikeouts and a combined five-inning no-hitter. On the other side, before the injury, Gordon had given up eight runs on nine hits, three walks and a strikeout. Kuykendall gave up eight runs on ten hits, Three walks, no strikeouts, and Montecano gave up one run on one hit. Also gave up one walk. Offensively, for the Panthers, we mentioned Joe having the good day. Two, two for three. Couple of walks, couple of RBIs, but... A pair of players with three RBIs each. Hudson, two of those RBIs on a two-run home run. She had the only home run in the game, but also with three RBIs, two for four on the day was Hillier. So a great day for the Panthers. They get the victory. Grants Pass will have to regroup. And so that's going to do it for us here from Grants Pass High School, we, we thank you for watching the Know Your Role post-game report, and we thank you for watching today's broadcast. We'd like to thank the Grants Pass High School Athletic Director, Clay Ronceville, for hosting the Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net. Special thanks to our head coaches, Miranda Gillespie for South Medford, Donnie Bellum for Grants Pass. Once again, the final score on the John L. Scott scoreboard, South Medford 19, Grants Pass nothing. This has been a special presentation of TableRockSports.net. Our executive producer is Joe Brett. And you can go to TableRockSports.net to find out when all the upcoming games are. And so for my partner behind the lens, Mikhail Weish, I am Jeff Smith saying... Thanks for watching and have a great night from Grants Pass High School here in Grants Pass, Oregon.